Hi, I've finished another one from the Booker Prize long list. Um, this one is The China Room by uh, Sanjeev Zayota. I think that's the way you sound uh, pronounce it. And I loved it. I really did. Um, it's a book that's very, I think it's almost deceptive. It, it reads very, very easily, but it stays with you. I found myself thinking about it, which is always a good sign. And the characters just really got under my skin. It's about, well, I set in two timelines. It's about um, Maha, I think that's the way you say it. And she's 14, 15, and it's set in 1929 Punjab. And she has an arranged marriage. On the same day, she and two other girls who are slightly older, who are about 18, on the same day, there are three weddings, these three girls to three brothers. Now, in the Punjab at that time, it was very, very um, traditional, very, very restrictive life for women. These three girls had no idea which brother they had married. They weren't allowed to see their husbands. They were veiled the whole time. Their eyes had to be cast down the whole time. So they had no idea which brother was which. And the matriarch, Mai, she ruled the farmstead with an iron fist. And there was one room, the china room, and they, the girls were told to go to this room and then their husbands would come at night. And you know, one girl, every, you know, they, they didn't know when Mai was going to tap them on the shoulder, go to the room. And because the room was in darkness, they didn't see their husbands. They didn't see the man that came into the room. So this is the, the life that this 15 year old has. And she, it's a story of betrayal really, because as it says in the, I'm trying not to give any spoilers away. Mahara young bride is trying to discover the identity of a new husband. Uh, she and her sister-in-law is married to three brothers in a single ceremony. When she develops a theory as to which of them is hers, a passion is ignited that will put more than one life at risk. So you get story of betrayal and everything as well. Now, alongside this, you have the story of Maha's great-grandson. And he's unnamed in the book. We don't know his name, but he is a, a first person narrator. And in 1999, at the age of 18, he goes to Punjab and he's recovering from a heroin addiction. He's trying to, he's going away before he starts university. And so you get his story as well as he goes to the farm. And it's a story of identity, being trapped. You find out about his life as an Asian in Britain, the racism he suffered and his addiction and the estrangement from, from his culture, from his family. It is a beautiful book and the writing is beautiful. There's one bit here that I want to read to you. And I've never seen a night sky described like this before. The stars are bright and stitched into the day's dark dress. They are so close he could reach up to twist away a sequin. And when he does his part when he does run his palm across the night, the stars travel along his line, his arm. I thought that was absolutely stunning. And it is a stunning book and it is heartbreaking. And you she does Mahad particularly, she does stay with you. Well she stayed with me. So that is the number 10 
on the long list, I think it is. I've got one more to read and then I'll have completed all 11. So that's it for today. I will come back to you another time and uh, happy reading. Take care. Bye.